This poem is called God the Father. If God is a father, then he is the most irreverent father who has ever lived. God winks more than anything else. His eyes are always laughing, even when he's mad as hell at old men who think he likes sitting on thrones that make his ass itch or wearing regal golden pointy hats that he would only adorn as part of the drag show. God does not take himself as seriously as the people who drool on his shoes while he gently tries to get them back on their feet to have a real conversation. What can we do now, God asks. Yeah, you fucked it up last time, but this time is going to be different. God believes in everyone who doesn't believe in him. He knows that he can touch their elbows softly enough while they're working to give them what they need without them ever knowing he was there. His eyes are always filled with tears, though he's exploding with joy. He just wants to see us shine and jump and run without any limps, to go off every diving board without hesitation, to kick the ball hard into the goal and twirl our jerseys and roar like the animals he made us. God doesn't need to be a father, and he's perfectly happy to wear lipstick and a dress if that helps us feel safe, but he's always ready to step in when the bullies on the playground have us cornered and they're making fun of the lack of regimentation in our gait. And when we get to heaven, our Father will tell off every lie he needs to so we can see clearly he has always been in our corner. And he never believed the slanders of our accusers, even if we were a self-fulfilling prophecy of complete dysfunction. Heaven is the day you believe me instead of your critics, says God. Now let me put you on my back and take you to the top of the mountain where we can dance forever in the light, and you will never feel alone again.